Hey everyone, good morning. I'm doing a little sorting today and I want to show you how I sort brick. Uh, I have a bin here to the left full of inverted slopes of various angles and sizes. And I have three containers here, one for 45s, one for 20s, and one of these types. I don't even know what the angle is. Looks like they're maybe about seven degrees or so. Not really sure. And my goal is if this bin starts overflowing, then I start separating. So I'm putting all the 2 by 2s and 1 by 2s in here. And these weird things in here. And I just keep going. Uh, I know some do sort by color. I'm more of a size type person because it's easy to rifle through uh, a certain parts type than it would be to go by color. And if this bin overflows, I'll separate these. And I keep breaking things down. Let's say I have, I break it down and I, this bin overflows with one by two inverteds. And let's say 70% of them or so are whites. I pull the whites out from the rest of them. Like these, if I have a lot of grays, they get pulled out. That's how I do things. Um, basically, there's really no right or wrong way to sort Lego. It's all a preference. I use a lot more of the slopes lately in projects than I have um, regular slopes, you know, like the inverted ones. So I'm pulling them out. Now you can see right here that I'm pulling out nothing but 45s, especially one by ones. So, you know, these bins here could be combined together. But these right here will most likely be separate from the group. I might have to condense this one down even more. I haven't sorted through the rest of that one bin yet, but I want to show you this is how I do it. You can see now that this thing here is already starting to fill up. So it looks like I'm going to have to degrade this a little bit more and separate one by one or one by twos and two by twos. So I hope this you know helps some of you guys and gals out in sorting out Lego room. You know, because sorting Lego is not a very exciting task after a while. If you have a bunch of buddies and stuff doing it that help you out, it would be a very big help. Instead of, whoops, instead of going through that right there and pulling that out of there, if I need a 45 degree slope invert, I can pull this out. This gets too full, then I'll divide it up into one by twos and two by twos. So then I know where to go any further. Uh, I know a lot of users that do this with their BrickLink store. They say it helps out when they're pulling orders. You know, for me, I'm, you know, I'm very slow at getting caught up with everyone. Too bad they don't make these in different sizes. Um, but I'm really slow at getting caught up with the rest of the LEGO community, so instead of rifling through brick to get, like, this black piece out, for example, now I can pull it out of there. It'd be easy to find it in there than it would be to go through this thing. So that's how I do things. I'm not sure of your preference. List it below and tell me what you do. I know some that do things by type, some do by color, some do by both. Now for something like this that's special, since it is a 45, I have no choice but to drop it in there. So, but yeah, that's pretty much how I'm sorting brick right now. Um, there is some times where you'll make a mistake, and you just have to go through it a few times. I've still been pulling out eyelet bricks out of my random bin. I thought I had them all pulled out, you know, so it's going to, you know, this is not going to be a one-day job. You're never going to, you're never going to be fully satisfied until everything is sorted the way you like it. Um, like this video here, it might not work for some of you guys and gals. Like this. Maybe I should pull these out. They're still in that bin. I'll get to that another day. You know, so I'm doing this slowly in my spare time. I'm not making an obsession to sort all these pieces out in one day. I know some are in a hurry. I know you want to get it done because you want to be more efficient. At building your, your mocks and stuff. Um, of course, if you're buying parts, the best time to start is any time. 
Then as you're rifling through a bin, you can always keep pulling these out. See, now this bin here is almost filled up. So it looks like I'm going to have to decompose this a little bit more and start separating elements like this, you know, because these are easy to go through. Like, I don't hardly have any of these, although this is a deeper container. Maybe I should dump them in a deeper container. But all in all, guys and gals, to wrap this up, just you be the judge. But tell me how you sort. Is it by color, type, or both? Or even size? The possibilities in sorting Lego are endless. See, now I'm overflowing, so... You know, that's the name of the game. The name of the game is to try to keep things from overflowing. If it does, then, well, we're just going to have to separate them even more. Because if I have to go through and find a 1x2, um, let's say, a, a pink, well, and going through all this, it would be very, very tough. And I'd have to pour them out. And my goal is to avoid pouring out brick on the floor. So, anyways, it looks like I'll have to get a deeper container, and I don't have one around here except full of uh, palisade. These are all palisade uh, one by twos. I had to separate those from the two by or the one by fours. Anyways, tell me how you sort out Lego in the description below. Thank you all for watching.